the inspiration behind um, Unify originally came from festival like Meredith and the Hills Are Alive, where um, it's more of a boutique kind of look and there's more of a sort of sense of community and safety and belonging with those festivals rather than the kind of massive mega fest that we're used to. First of all, we had to find a place to host a heavy music uh, gathering and um, my brother and I have spent a good 12 to 18 months searching around, trying to find the perfect location. So it was incredible when we found Tal and Loa. I've been a country boy all my life and uh, um, Tarwin uh, epitomises what it's like to be in a country town. And the, the age demographic is interesting. There's a lot more older people than younger people here. Tarwin, Lara and Venice Bay are on the end of a road you know, on a coastal beach, so we don't get a lot of through traffic because of it. Uh, as a community, we've been looking for something like Unify to come along and no, put us on the map. Travelled down there and we saw the site and it was originally this football field. There was just this sort of rusted gates off to the side and we're like, what's over there? And like, oh, that's nothing. And we sort of had a little look like, no, it looks like there's something over there. Like, oh, it's the old disused pony club, you know, it's not used very much anymore. And we walked through there and it was like, right, this is it. This is the site. This is the place for the festival. And at the time it was all overgrown and overrun. And then the next thing was, okay, how do we get the community on board? And so we spent a good 12 months literally like door knocking every house in Tarl and Loa, doing information nights at the community centre, showing people videos of some of the bands and the style of music and um, working out how the community could be involved so that they could benefit from it as well as um, us be able to host this amazing event. There's a beach right nearby which is absolutely spectacular. You've got Venus Bay, Phillip Island, Wilson's Prom. I think having something down there is just a really good way to sort of show people and showcase a little bit of the beauty that surrounds Australia rather than having bands constantly playing in the cities. We're out here in Footscray. We've booked a two day prac uh, in the bloody prac rooms. Well, Unify is this Saturday, it's a Monday. Six days. And, um, we're bloody excited. I guess you get those all those little communities of heavy music all around Australia, which is um, quite a unique thing in itself, and you put it all in the one place, and it just works. I think, you know, we know plenty of people from your Brisbane, your Sydney, mm. your WA, even people from down. Darwin that will come down, and it's only half an hour, you only get half an hour, you, you spend hours, you know, 12 hours practicing, you know, at home, thinking about it, all this time worrying, staying up, and you only get your half an hour out, you know, on stage, so I think that you really got to make it count. So we wrapped up at Fowler's for the Adelaide show of the leg at around probably 11, 11.30. And I don't know, we all just hopped in the van and literally just went non-stop from Adelaide to Gippsland. Oh, we've got like a 10 hour drive ahead of us. We're all not looking forward to it, but once all the shit parts out of the way, we're gonna have the best day of our fucking life, so we're very excited for that. Sometimes it's a bit hard to sleep in a car, especially when you're as hyped up as you are to play the event. I mean, we were pretty excited, like nerves were kicking in for some of us. We pulled into the show, walking onto the stage and seeing how huge it was out there was pretty, not so daunting, but exciting. It's like, you know, as soon as someone sets up 10 next to you, they're like, all right, hey, we're your neighbours, you know, how's it going? And they'll come have a beer with you or something like that. And yeah, it's pretty sweet. Like, no one's here to have a bad time. It's just the inviting of people into tents and like little like communities, like, and then they invite you into like this little tent city of their own and just like smashing Jaeger in some random guy's thing. I never met this guy Hotel, before. Yeah, I don't know who he was, but he was, he had me in his little shack and that was, he was a fucking ripper. You know, it has much more of a vibe, much more of a, a, you'd say a community feel, as opposed to being on some asphalt, you know, no trees for miles vibe where the sun's just beating down. Here there's a bit of shelter, a bit of shade, there's trees and there's people that are here for a good time and they're here for two days. They're not going to just duck off and catch the last train home. They're here and they're committed to being here, so that changes the whole vibe of we're all in, in this together here, two hours from, two, three hours from Melbourne.
taking it upon themselves to not only write, but also produce, record, create amazing music, and then off their own backs, take it worldwide, which is what the opportunity actually is. But it's really nice to actually see that happening. And then to watch it on stage, like, these bands are so professional. Like, and, and I'm not just talking like, we know what we're doing, we're rock stars. I'm just saying about playing super tight, putting on an incredible show, and being incredibly organized and incredibly good at what they do. It's not an easy thing to do to be in a band that plays in front of 5,000 kids and not absolutely piss your pants. But I'm a real no dog kind of guy. You say what it do. But I'm a real dog kind of guy. You say what it do. But I'm a real no dog kind of guy. You say what it do. But I'm a real dog kind of guy. Don't count. But I'm a 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 but I'm a, 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 but I'm a. I think that this is the first time Australia is starting to build a reputation this way. When we were a young band, it was a much more competitive world, and a lot of the bands that um, you know will be here today or friends um, kind of were part of bands that maybe there was a competitive nature with like six, seven, eight years ago. Because it was like, where was there to go? There was nowhere to grow to. And like, I'm sure you know, a lot of venues, there's gaps, massive gaps between the capacity sizes. So bands always suffer until maybe they can, they're lucky enough to support an international band and get out to a bigger audience, blah, 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 blah. But now it's like, this is the Australian community inviting like select internationals into it. And we are creating like that atmosphere. I think for the first time, because the rest of the world is where bands are growing, but now we're creating an environment and ground for Australian bands to just keep going up and up. The coolest thing about last year was that we didn't know what to expect. We played the second day last year, so it was definitely like a hurdle to overcome. We the, first the first day. Yeah. <laughs> so we just hung over the second day, but like vibe-wise it's insane. Uh, Soundwave uh, was was great in its own right, but Unify is doing something uh, something a little bit different. It gives an opportunity to local bands and and, and more, uh, I guess, regional or Australian level bands that are you know hoping to get those awesome slots. So it's supporting the local and Australian community by like giving those kind of smaller bands an opportunity to play with some like awesome bands like Parkway Drive. And then there's only just the one stage, so everyone has to watch them. Soundwave was absolutely monstrous, but with the demise of that, this is a different vibe and a different setup. Like the camping factor, the the fact that it started from such a grassroots thing and started local is a real positive for it. And you sell it out two years in a row, you're not doing anything bad there. You can't see it going away. So the first year of Unify was really, really stressful. Um, doing something for the first time, you learn, uh, you learn a lot uh, all along the way. I think uh, in the sort of about four weeks leading up to it, I'd started to almost become convinced that it was going to be a complete disaster just because of just how much work there was to do. But as I got to the site and saw the way it had been set up and all credit to all the amazing stuff that we've got on there, I just walked in there and I had this kind of amazing feeling that this is going to be one of the most special days of my life and it definitely was. Obviously it's a it's a different genre of music and the people who seem to follow it seem to identify with each other very well. They seem to be tight-knit around that. Probably because of the sheer noise that the bands make, they, they get a bit of criticism and uh, it's not my cup of tea I suppose, but I had a good time there.
fuck weekend. I don't really want to go home because tomorrow's Monday and I have to go to work. So I'm just going to try and pretend that I don't have to like live a real life for now. So set up my tent, had a good time, cut open my foot, cut open my eye. Unify attracts people that are into the scene rather than just into the bands. You know, you got to support the scene. It is. It's growing, but at the same time, it, it, we need we need to be there. It's the fans that back it that keep it going. You feel like a piece of shit, but Unify was worth it. It was um, pretty fucking good. I kind of wish it was another night. <laughs> to be honest, just because the whole camping out at a music festival, making friends, there's nothing better. Yeah. We've now got a beautiful sign on top of the scoreboard. I think that makes our footy club probably the coolest footy club in, in Australia. With the funds we could raise just from, from doing a bit of catering, and um, we're able to put a big solar system on the roof here of the footy club. Keeping our junior club going is one of their battles and raised enough money for us to be able to uh, travel kids from uh, around the district to training on uh, Thursday nights and you know, gave kids a game of footy, really. And so where it will go, at the moment it's unclear. We have lots of ideas, but for me that's what's most important is that people come, they have an amazing time, but also that the community where it's hosted is, um, is involved and is a big part of it as well.